What's up guys, it's me Alan and I'm back with another video today. And today we have another NASCAR diecast review to do today. And <laughs> well I'm just gonna go ahead and get this out of the way right now. It's Alex Bowman's Chevy Goods Adams Polishes number 88 Chevy 400 Bar Sports from this year. And you're probably wondering, Alan, why are you reviewing this diecast again? You already reviewed it. Well, Consider this a second review of the same of this diecast because the one that I reviewed, I'm not keeping. That one is being given to somebody. So I figured, what the hell? This is the one that I'm keeping, so I'm gonna review it. I want you know I want to see you know judging off of the other one, what the difference looks like. You know if there are any or more or less or whatever you know issues with this one compared to that one. So with all that being said. Go ahead and unbox this diecast. You don't want to review. This will probably be one of the rare times where I ever do where I, where I ever review the same car twice. And I don't mean like it's the same paint scheme two years in a row. I mean like the same car from the same year. It's like the same everything. <laughs> so there's the diecast out of its box. Making sure the windshields are in place. So yeah, like I said, again, yes, I already have... And, no, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, once again, I think this is the same thing with the other one. So, I think the Adams Polishes logo, that's either off to the left, the way I'm looking at it, or that's supposed, or that's correct and it's where it's placement. I, I, it just, it looks off-center to me. But the front... I think, oh, yep, I can see a difference. Yeah, the headlight on the left side is higher uh, than it should be. And again, I apologize for the crappy focus, but it's the best you can do. I think it's also because I keep, because the table is constantly moving, so. Yeah. And, oh my god, well, I really got a little back black paint on the splitter, but look at this. Look at this. They screwed up big time. Again, apologies if you cannot see it because of the fact that this freaking focus is crap. But, or, you know, it can be at times. But they got Goodyear, good ye, good yeah, I guess, all up here and the R down here. I'm just going to try to hold this long enough for it to focus in or something. Like, holy crap. Wow. That is just, that is nuts. Got some excess decal wrap. Right there. Gonna try to flick that off. Got it off. Um, <laughs> and of course, it ends up in the freaking windshield, uh, the freaking thing right there. But like I said, so uh, this, again, yeah, like I said, this is the one that I'm keeping. Um, back bumper looks all right. Get the deck lid looks all right. And they got it correct on this side. Yay! <laughs> but what, look at this, though. They, they've got his name curved on this side. Are you kidding me? Sheesh. Jeez, I'm crow, Lionel. What the heck? But yeah, I'll link the other review in the description below, and I'll, I'll probably change the title of that one to that one. Will it, it'll have the correct title, but it'll say, a, um, you know, or just distinguish which one's which. But like I said again, you know, I, I mean, it still looks amazing, and I think both of them came with virtually with not a ton of flaws, or really barely any at all. But this one. I think I saw this. I think this was the way it, what the the hood logo was on it on the other one. Excuse me. So actually, I think that's the correct placement for it. It just it looks weird because it looks like it's off. It's it's not centered, so it looks weird. But at the same time, I think that's the case. I think that's what it is. What it's supposed to be. Yeah, they did get the front messed up a little bit. And that right there is probably the biggest, that's pro that's a meme right there, good yeah. It's not a good year, it's good yeah. <laughs> um, like that's just, oh yeah, and now it, now the camera's focused, okay. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, so again, I don't have a ton to say about this because of the fact that I already reviewed it once, but again, I'm, I'm reviewing it again because this is the one that I'm keeping. Um, so with that all being said, for a short ass review, um, thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, please drop a like and subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.